Hello there. It is day six of the Ewan McGregor-a-thon, and today I will be watching The Pillow Book. And just to be clear, normally The Pillow Book would have been day five, and today would have been Emma, but um, because of the Blue Juice drama, some things have been uh, delayed, so I will try my best to watch uh, The Pillow Book and Emma today. So, The Pillow Book. Um, I, I, I don't know what it's about. It's about a girl with a tattoo writing fetish who's looking for a calligrapher to fulfill both her sexual and writing pleasures. I think that's what it's about. To me, it kind of sounds like a very weird but hopefully interesting plot. I am very, very curious. I, I think this is the film that I've been the most curious about up till now. So yeah, I'm not going to wait any longer. I am going to dive straight into it and I'm going to share my thoughts once I have seen the film. The Pillow Book is A film. I have never felt so uncomfortable watching a film. I don't even know where to begin. It is so... Oh, it is very uncomfortable. At first I didn't even realize that the overlapping of the of the footage was, was something the film did or if it was a mistake in my uh, copy. It is uh, a well, an interesting choice of style. I like to tell myself that I can appreciate art, and, and I really think I can, but you don't have to appreciate all forms of art, and I don't appreciate this film. The Pillow Book is... It's a weird, erotic... I don't even know if it should be erotic. I... No, I'm not going into detail because I want to keep this video appropriate, but this film is penis heaven. If you ever want to see a penis and don't watch porn, then this is the, the film you should watch. And um, Ewan McGregor is in it, and he plays quite a big role. Whether that's a good or a bad thing depends on just how much you love him. Uh, I, I, I don't even like talking about this movie. I'm sorry, this is so all over the place, but it's just really what that film did to me. I'm I'm totally flabbergasted. I can't string two sentences together. Should you watch this film? Depends. Do you like weird, artsy films about fetishes? Then yes. Do you not really like nudity in your films? Then, hard pass. Should you watch this because Ian McGregor is in it? Yeah, sure. Sure, if you... The reason I did this whole two months thing is because I wanted to discover new films. And I think I discovered a whole subgenre of films that I never knew existed. And I never wanted to know it existed. Is it the worst film on this list so far? Uh, no, that play still goes to Blue Juice, because Blue Juice was boring and at least this was a little bit interesting. It was just so, so weird and weirdly sexual that it wasn't for me. All in all, I am giving the pillow book a 5 out of 10 for at least trying to be original and having a distinct style but also it's weirdly sexual and I don't like that and way too much nudity for my liking. Tomorrow or later today I'm going to watch Emma which I think Ewan McGregor doesn't play a huge part in so we will see. I'll see you tomorrow.